Well, it's about 6.30 in the morning. I'm waiting for daylight so I can start fishing for jack salmon. As you can see, no one else is here yet, but there will be a bunch of people here. Anyway, this is Westport. I'm down in the boat basin, and every year they have a salmon fishing area, or salmon come here to uh, be fished by sportsmen because they release them. So that's what I'm here for, just waiting to see what I can catch. All right. Right, anybody anyway the people across the way they're fishing legit with twitching jigs and one of them's caught two fish I still haven't seen him mark down one and more than likely hasn't marked down the other but we'll see what happens all right here we go fish for fish are coming through right now we'll see if I get a chance to catch one Oh, my bobber's dobbing. Oh, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Come on, come on, take it, take it, take it. Yep. All right. Here it is. Nice little silver jack. Onto the dock. I'm videoing right now. All right. I got him. That is a coho jack. All right. There's fish right by my bobber. Come on, take my bobber. This guy's got a fish on. Yep. See the fish? It's a nice fish. They passed up my bobber. These guys here are casting on the fish because they can see them. I haven't seen them tag their fish yet. They just catch them and leave them on the shoreline, I guess. The guy in the green is the one that's chasing. Oh yeah, see he... He didn't snag that one. They're they're actually going after twitching jigs, but uh, it's hard to tell his actions, how he's jerking back and forth. But this will be his third one that he possibly has not tagged. So we'll see what he does. We'll just keep videoing. It's a nice adult too. That's probably around a eight to ten pound coho. Oh, he's got it snagged in the back. Let's see if he keeps it. So, so he snagged it right in the back with a twitching jig. Let's see if he releases it. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Too bad he's not catching it legally. Yep. Well, so far he's keeping his fish. Now he's going to run to his car. Yep. Still keeping it. Should have let it go at the bank. I'll be back. Go ahead. Thank you. Still not letting their fish go. Waiting to see him let the fish go. That was a big fight. He's got to get a drink of water. That fish is looking for a drink of water, but yet he's not ready to let it go yet. I doubt he's gonna. He hasn't tagged his other two fish, so I doubt he'll tag this one. Yep. Right now, let's see what he does. Yep, holding it up for pictures. Still wondering what he's going to do. Oh, 
I'll come back to this after I, uh, oh, here goes my bobber. Here goes my bobber. Come on. Here goes my bobber. Well, didn't take, oh, there you go. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Come on, take it. He's got to take it all. He can't just play with it. He's got to take it. Come on. Well, I think I didn't get that, Jack. I'll have to check the eggs here in a minute. All right, I'm going to shut the video off for a second. Okay, back to video on this guy. Let's see if he releases the fish. He's just cleaning it. Maybe he'll let it go clean. Yep. Everybody's congratulating him for keeping that fish. Some of these people seen him bring it in in the back. Well, I'm going to stop videoing now. All right, the fish are making their way through again. I seen someone hook one so oh here goes my bobber here goes my bobber come on just gotta let that fish commit come on take that bobber they're just not committing to my eggs that's all right keep trying i guess all right well here's the wrap up with my jack salmon fishing for the day I ended up catching one that was 16 and a half inches. This to date is my biggest one on film because this is my first one on film. So hopefully I will have caught made good footage of it when I brought it in. My bobber did go down several times, but the fish were not committed to my catching the fish. So anyway, as as far as the other person that was illegally keeping fish without recording, he was snagging a couple of them. He was in the act of snagging, he was using a twitching jig. A twitching jig he was using most of the time with the twit anyway, with the twitching jig he was using most of the time legally, but as he had his polarized glasses on, he could easily see where the fish was and he was ripping through the fish. I don't know how much of that I got on film, but when I was leaving, he actually was hooking his seventh fish and brought it in. He did give one of his fish away, so he was back down to five. That's the ones I seen, and then he was, again, catching his seventh fish. And I thought I'd let y'all know that twitching jigs do work. I have used them. I've never brought one to shore, but they, they legitimately catch these coho salmon. But this person was purposely ripping through the fish. There was a few other people doing the same, but this person was a professional at it. Most of his were in the mouth, so it's legit. But I didn't see him write down any of them on his punch card. So that's the way it goes. All right. I thought I might add that this fish actually had a couple sea lice on the back of its uh, back end of its tail. Um, I don't know if there's any more. No, I, I don't see any more. But yeah, it has two sea lice that are alive. And now I'm going to uh, clean this fish, or at least gut it. And get it ready for putting in the freezer so here we go just right up the gut now these are small enough you can do this you can clean them like trout that's what i prefer if i can get this knife through without cutting me just cut the gill right there and on trout you can grab the gills and give it a rip and I'll tear those two fins off and bring the guts out at the same time and then all you have left is to take the vein and slice through the middle of the vein and then if you have a spoon which I didn't bring one out here 
you can take the vein off by just scraping on it. Of course, I'm also going to take these two sea lice and scrape them off. So, when I'm fishing for these jacks, we see the jacks coming without having to have polarized glasses. They actually jump out of the water. So, that is about that. It's a nice fish. All I have to do is do a little rinse off and it will be good to go. And this is about a two pound fish. Maybe about one and a half, two pounds. All right. Okay, I'm gonna flip him aboard here. Look out, I'm gonna bring him here. Okay, another coho jack. Yeah. All right. Maybe three, three year old eggs. <laughs> All right, nice coho jack. Yeah, it is. All right. And definitely that. Well, I decided to come here and go fishing again. I uh, had just put eggs on. Five minutes later, a jack took my bobber down. And as you can see in the film, I wasn't ready. But I did catch that jack on film again. So uh, right now it's been really, really slow. I've only seen a few fish go by. And well, you can't compete with a bunch of people casting lures on the fish all the time when they can see them with their polarized glasses. So the fish just get all spooked out of here and that's where I'm at. I caught one. I'll uh, show the fish on the table when I get home. Well, here it is. This is my second salmon, which is a jack. It's a coho salmon. As you can see, it's hatchery right here, as all jacks should be there in the marina. But anyway, it's tying my record for the first one I caught, which is 16 and a half inches also. All right. Just in case anybody was wondering how I uh, prep these jack salmon coho for eating, I like to wrap them up in tin foil with seasoning and butter. I like to put them in the barbecue that way or on an open fire pit when I'm camping. So I like to stockpile them that way. So here's how I do it. First of all, Johnny's puts out Alaskan salmon seafood seasoning or seafood seasoning. Um, you find them at random stores. I don't quite know where. I know you don't find them at all stores. So what I do, and I'm going to show you what I do here, is I'll take butter and I'll put butter inside the fish, just inside the body. And then I will take this seasoning, which this is the Johnny's seafood seasoning. And again, I like to use Johnny's Alaskan salmon seasoning also, but at this time I do not have any. Sometimes they're hard to find. And then I'll take and sprinkle kind of an even amount it looks like I'm doing a lot, but a lot of it will just cook off or kind of the drippings will wash away. Anyway, once I get done putting the seasoning on, then I'll take butter and put a little piece of butter in two parts on one side. And I'll take another piece of butter, or I should say two pieces of butter on the other side. Like so. I'll move this out of the way. And I will take and pull the tin foil over, smash down the tin foil as best I can. I'm doing two layers because I'm going to be doing them opposite sides of each other, so most of the juices can stay inside so it can cook and give the best flavor. So I'll fold fold the tin foil over several times, try and squeeze most of the air out of the tin foil. Like so, and by the tail I will fold over several times, and in this case what I'll do this time is now take the other half and go to the other side. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I have found that these taste really, really good when you're out camping. You're able to take it with your friends, cook back, put it by the fire, 
and you just give it some time and flip it over several times you can't be impatient you got to be patient when you cook these too because when you go to pull the tin foil apart you want to make sure the meat is all nice and flaky and it will be one of the best tasting fish you'll ever have on an open fire if not put it in your barbecue and have fun barbecuing it that way at home all right that's all it takes to do these so while i have you there i also did one up from the other day these two are 16 and a half inch uh, coho jack salmon this one here i did about about a month ago and it is a coastal cutthroat that I caught out of one of our local rivers. These two were caught in Westport, Washington in the boat basin. September 12th, September 14th. So it's a good time to come fishing for jack salmon. Alright, that's all. If you like any of my videos, please smash the like or just subscribe. And it will go a long way in helping me with making more videos. I am trying for 100 subscribers for 2021 and shooting for the moon in 2022.